there's no guarantee all of Adams County tornado sirens will work. That's because local, state, and federal laws regulating them are non-existent. I didn't know. I thought everyone had to have them because, you know, where are your taxes going? I think every town should have them. I mean, when you're talking about lives. West Union has two broken sirens. The mayor knows where both are located, but can't remember the last time they worked. When was the last time that the village of West Union had a test, a successful test? That I can't answer. It's probably the last time they did it for the county that they set it off, because they used to have testing of the sirens once a month or so. When you say used to, when was the last time you remember that happening in the county? I really can't answer that either because it, it's been a little while. They do have a replacement siren that has not been put up yet. Each siren can cost a village upward of $25,000. Winchester Mayor Ken Shelton says his town bought a new siren but can't use it yet. Each of Adams County sirens are activated by a radio frequency signal sent out by the 911 communication center in this building. Mayor Shelton says the village has a brand new siren to use. It won't sound until the county fixes the problem on its end. Ever since we've been installing a new, new one that we, we didn't have a siren, there's really nothing we could do in the meantime uh, with you know, having a new siren installed. Once it's operational, Winchester will have monthly testing. Not because they have to, but because they'll choose to. I've heard the fire sirens go off, but not the uh, tornado ones. I think what I'm most shocked about is the fact that we are not required by state, federal law, local law even, mm -hmm. uh, to have these sirens. Yeah, it is all up to each of the villages that I spoke to. And if you're lucky, your county, your um, village has money to repair them. I mean. Oh, and, and replace them, $30,000 Yeah, there expensive. Perhaps? Yeah. And so absolutely. something you've been doing is taking these concerns, this issue, uh, to some of our local lawmakers to make sure they're aware of this problem and also get their uh, opinion on what they're thinking about this issue. What are you hearing from them? Yeah, just to see if there's money or if they are interested. Um, so I reached out to State Senator Terry Johnson and uh, State Representative Justin Pizzuli, and both offices are aware, but that's where they left it at. It they know. It'll be interesting to see what, if anything, comes of this. I'm sure you're going to stay on top of this because there's so many different angles that we can take because I think you're alerting a lot of people mm -hmm. to the fact that this is not a law like we probably assumed it was. Oh, absolutely. We take it for, for granted that, that in Hamilton County they test them right. um, every, every month. And so I'm glad that people are aware that there are sirens that aren't working or that need to be replaced and can put some pressure on their local officials. And we were talking about some other measures that people can take to be alerted just in case oh. maybe their community doesn't have those sirens. The local 12 Weather Authority of app course. is some way uh, that you can get those. And there's other apps as well, but mm -hmm. obviously uh, we're part of, partial to that app right there. Yes, and the weather radio and yeah. yeah, having a siren. And I realize when you are so far apart, you might not be able to hear the siren, but if your phone's dead or you don't have a weather radio, it's, it's important to have multiple avenues to know that bad weather's coming your way. All right, Paige Barnes leading us off tonight. Paige, right. thank you thank so you, thank much. You. you can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.